Hello, I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you. In this video, I'm gonna try to make this into a disc golf disc. I'm really excited for this one. However, for this to work, I need to go back in my life to a little place called school. The problem is, I don't remember like anything that happened in my life 15 years ago. So for me to remember how to wood turn, I used to do it this much. It's gonna be, yes. Luckily, I'm not alone. Hey, welcome. I have this guy. Andreas. He took me to a room full of wood. The wood room. And we decided on birch. And I then proceeded to contribute to the team. Yes. And then we left and made one side flag. And just like with an argument, it's important to be considerate of the other side. Just make it flat. I traced the outside of the disc onto the wood. And then I got some scrap things to practice the, the band sawing. Not picturing, cutting up my fingers. Onto the real thing, trying to get as close as possible to the line there to impress Andreas. He didn't notice. Then we marked out the middle to make it centered. We're gonna, we're gonna place this thing that goes into the wood turning machine thing onto the disc. Like so. Then, the stakes were raised. Oh, that fake thing, Chris. Turns out, a branch ruined my day, just like in disc golf. We stood in silence. It was rough. Pencil, then glue, then clamps. Then... I removed the clamps and broke the thing. Then screwed the chug. Didn't need to Google that on the disc. We will get back to this later. Now things are getting real. You can tell by the way Andreas is touching the wood with his finger. It's a telltale sign. Then he left. So I'm gonna start out by marking where the disc start being flat and becoming like a slope. The slope index. <laughs> and that's like at, at two and a half centimeters. I'm gonna mark that on, on the, the top side. This is the top side. Hello, top side. There. This is for all the wood turners out there. The fr the start, the fresh start. <laughs> Nothing. I was too afraid. So I changed the angle, suppressed my fears, and that that worked. So I started working on the top side and constantly checking the shape of the wheel disc. So this is where we're at. We you have uh, that thing there and then this hair. Too much meat there I think I'm gonna try to fix that and then it's on to the next step maybe so it's the thing here I've done this part <laughs> and now it's nothing and then it goes hello I'm going in at this point Andreas came back with the cloth so as of now this piece of wood is a lot like me it, there's too much so I'm gonna try to work myself outwards and then remove the excess wood on the thing yes We have the thickness on the on the outside now here, but now it's the, the in slope, the inverted slope. I went out on a limb and took this thing off. Maybe this is how you do it. Then I got scared by a loud sound. So now I'm quite happy with uh, the profile of the thing, even this thing, 
even that thing. And now I just have to remove the, the meat. <laughs> And then I heard it. Something's wrong. It turns out that the screws were too long, so it, they're sticking into the disc. Here, you can see it here. I needed some air. Andreas gave me a sliver of hope here. You can maybe be saved depending on what the top side looks like. So I took off all the meat and this was the tricky part I found because especially at the edge there, one mistake and the disc just easily be cut in half. <laughs> I cannot make it any better than this. <laughs> then I sandpapered it. I like that part. Careful. I sanded off some glue and paper from the top there of the disc. And then... Oh, I've been waiting on this. The oil. I have oil. <laughs> and yes, I can see the, the, the spots here. That's the screws. But I don't mind it. Should I? Should I mind? No? No. Good. Let's oil together. Yes. Yes. This. This looks professional. Let's do a comparison. This, this is hope. And this, this is hope. Right? <laughs> Hello. I'm so excited for Johannes to try this out. Woo. We got company. Bye, Fuse. Can we go through this now? And 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 can you can we make can can we have it have it smells good, right? Nature. Can you help me with the flight numbers to have it I want it to have flight numbers. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna throw some wood and not plastic. Making the aces but not hurting the disc. The shape of the disc looks really good. Mm -hmm. And, and, and flight-wise, that, that's what matters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Feels a bit light. It is light. It is light. Yeah. But I think it's gonna fly pretty straight. And I'm also thinking, how's the grip? Like a lot of things in life, it could use a bit more oil. <laughs> what if it br what if it breaks? Still hot. I think maybe you should be the one that throws it the first time in case it, I don't know, breaks. Okay. Two, three, zero, two. I'm gonna guess. Okay. Oh! I'm coming! Don't! <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oh. That's so emotional. Oh, no. Oh. I think it's sort of a, like a roller disc, this. So it's understable. It's super stiff. Slightest amount of flutter, it's gonna hold that flutter. Uh, like a flexi disc, it balances itself out. And also, it doesn't look 
flat. It goes like this a bit. One of these are flat, one is not. Guess which one. Could you throw the wooden hope and then the regular hope and we can see the difference between the two? Yes. Like flat release. Nice and stable and straight. And now the other one. <laughs> So what flight numbers would you give this? In many ways it's a hope and in one way it's not. So it's going to be speed 2, yeah. uh, glide uh, 3, turn uh, minus 3. Good beginner disc. So everyone that's a beginner, go wood turn a disc. It was a lot of fun. Now it looks a lot like a banana. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you do. Do you hope they did? Yes, they can like the video. Mm, many times, no, uh, just once. Sub subscribe, hit the bell. Ding. Pling along dong. And with that said, we're gonna leave. Take care though. <laughs>